<laughs> okay, this one is for April 11. Okay? And we're continuing the readings from St. John. This is John chapter 3, 16 to 21. Okay, so the one of uh, the gospel commentary we just did was about the Holy Spirit. Okay? Now let's see if this one you'll guess. You'll guess who? Okay? God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. <laughs> Is that a giveaway, Jana? Yeah. So that everyone who believes in Him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through Him. Whoever believes in Him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned. Could you imagine that? Whoever does not believe has already been condemned. So, you know, faith in Jesus Christ, in the second person of the Blessed Trinity, in the fact that, uh, that uh, uh, He came down on earth to redeem mankind, is part of the very uh, fundamental uh, belief that we have as Catholics. Okay? Uh, where are we? And this is the verdict that the light came into the world, but people preferred darkness to light because their works were evil. For everyone who does wicked things hates the light and does not come forward or does not come toward the light. So that his works might not be exposed. But whoever lives the truth comes to the light. So that his works may be clearly seen as done in God. See, St. John is very poetic in the way that he wrote his gospel. And he's very... Uh, it's very descriptive, very nice. He, he, he puts things in a very, very nice, poetic way, right? And here, he compares Jesus to the light. The light of the world. Okay? The world was in darkness. In darkness because of? Because of sin. Right? Because of sin. Because of original sin, men came into the world, or man comes into the world, in, in, in cloaked in darkness because he is he is confused he's he 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 he, um, he doesn't um, have the light of grace in his soul okay? if he is not introduced to Jesus Christ then um, then he lives in darkness okay? but Jesus came to take away the darkness of the world to take away the sin of the world that causes the darkness in the soul okay? And he came to bring salvation by dying on the cross and saving all of us, saving mankind from sin. Okay? Um, and this is a very nice way that St. John puts the, uh, the, uh, the salvific mission that Jesus came to, uh, to do for us on earth. Right? The image of light. Because without light, you can't see anything. Right? So light... Light shines uh, on, 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 uh, on anything, on any surface, and that way you can see with clarity what it is you're dealing with. Right? So that, that image of light is very important and it is very appropriate for helping us understand uh, how Jesus illumines everything for us. How Jesus illumines our soul so that we see and understand and believe the truth. See? That is, the, that is the, uh, the relationship. Because the devil, the devil uh, is, is, uh, is afraid of the light. He doesn't like the light. Right? You see, a very, a very uh, uh, good way of understanding this would be like this. When do thieves come and break into homes? At night. At night. Okay. Huh. At night, right? Normally, why do they do that? Because they're scared of being caught. Because they're scared of being caught, right? They don't want to be caught doing bad things. 
stealing from other people. Now you see, sinners are like thieves. Sinners are like thieves. They like doing things clandestinely. And they, they have evil thoughts in their heads. They, they have evil desires that they're keeping in their hearts. Uh, which of course eventually comes out into bad things they do. But they all begin by trying to hide their evil inclinations. Their bad things. And they think they can hide. <laughs> right? They think they can hide. Right? But they always get busted in the end. They always get discovered. And even if they succeed to a certain extent to hide their wrongdoings from the view of other people, God. well, nothing escapes God. God always sees everything that we're doing. Eh? Or we cannot hide anything from God. So, the devil likes darkness. Sinners like to do things in the dark because they don't like to be exposed to the truth so darkness sinning lies they all go together they all are all part of the same formula that the devil uses in order to bring us to hell because under the cover of darkness where nothing is clear you can't see through very clearly right obscurity obscurity is like a lie see? when there is no light that, that shines on truth there is obscurity and a lie is like that the devil wants, wants to make us believe things that are not there wants to make us believe things that are not true and that is why he cloaks things in darkness see? he does not want us to see with clarity what the truth is and every time we sin, every time we try to do things uh, clandestinely to try to uh, 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 satisfy our own pleasures, our own desires, our own selfishness, our own greediness, our own uh, uh, cravings for all the wrong things. And we try to do that clandestinely, hiding uh, 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 in the darkest recesses of our soul. Well, we are conniving with the devil. Okay? We are being friends with the devil. That is what we are doing. Okay? That is why, that is why uh, 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 we, are, we are fooling ourselves if we think that we are going to be able to hide these things from God. Okay? So in order to avoid uh, um, keeping secrets with the devil... Yeah? We always have to be truthful. We always have to be sincere. We always have to be transparent. We always have to tell the truth. There's no point telling a lie. There's no point trying to hide our sins. Even, even our sins we have to open up in confession. Right? There, there's no point keeping secrets with the devil. We are the only ones who will suffer and will continue to, to uh, darken our, our perspective of life and of things of God if we are not sincere. If we continue to fool ourselves <laughs> with our lies and with our connivance with the devil. Okay? We're only fooling ourselves that way. So let us, let us make a resolution to always try to tell the truth, to always abide by the truth, to always be sincere okay? and tell the truth all the time. Because whoever lives the truth comes to light. And who is the light? Jesus, Jesus Christ. See? So whoever tells the truth is close to Jesus because Jesus is the light of the world. And whoever tries to avoid the light and favors the darkness of sin is being friends with the devil. Okay? Let us keep that in mind. So sincerity, sincerity, truthfulness are two very important virtues. Transparency also goes with that. Very important virtues that will help us keep close to Jesus Christ who is the light of the world. 
Okay? That's it. Bye-bye. Get back to studying now. We'll see you.